only going to introduce the MC, please. There's no need to. <laughs> I do want to set a few ground rules because uh, every time I've ever come to a show here, the things I love hearing most are the words I'm about to recount for you. Please set your phones on silent. Unwrap any hard candies that you might have. And if you're sitting in the front row, please keep your feet off the stage. And that's being recorded because I'm going to send it to Tony Braithwaite and apply for that job next year. Um, I do want to take a second, in addition to thanking the staff that finished up with uh, a two o'clock performance of Brighton Beach Memoir and came back for this, I want to thank them for their dedication, their time. But I really have to thank you for the idea that you would give up a Sunday to come and see a group of amateur comics. But I do, I do want to let you know a few things about it, about the importance of it. First of all, we agreed from the outset, if we were able to pull this off, this was going to go 100% bottom line to Act 2 Playhouse. So 100% of the, the money you spent, and I'll have something to say about that later, but everything you contributed that goes to this playhouse and this wonderful uh, group of people who are dedicated to bringing arts and live arts and theater to the area. Um, what you will see in front of you will be a group that has really, believe it or not, um, started from complete strangers and grown to feel like family, and I am not using that word cavalierly. This group feels close, we've done things together, we rely on each other, and none of us have any illusions of becoming professional comics, which is a good thing, but <laughs> the benefit of this is that each of us got out of our comfort zone, and when we're able and ready to share that with friends and family, you know it had an impact on our lives. So I hope you enjoy this.